here at the uh, PPG Paints Arena. Now, I'm sure uh, we all have to get that one correct. Um, several hours before a game, I got to ask you, preparation, the narration that you give to these games, such information from stats just to, to, to personal lines, uh, what is the method of preparation? Is it, is it a giant chart of notes? Is it, I mean, what, what, what is it? Yeah, it, it winds up being that. Uh, thank goodness for computers, because I used to have to hand write it out. Um, it, it's an old formula. This is my 44th year, and it goes back to my first year. It's in numerical order. In front of me is a binder that has plastic inserts, and inside of each of those plastic inserts on the left is the visiting team in their colors, and today that would be Detroit all in red, no, numbers next to names. And then on the right would be Pittsburgh all in black, numbers next to names. And a little bit of biographical data, height, weight, age, when the next birthday is, mm -hmm. town, and where they played before they got here. And that fits in a square about one by three. <laughs> then the, uh, the page on the opposite side winds up being biographical information, which in television, there's not that much time to put in, unless there are three or four seconds before a face-off when neither Eddie nor Pierre are saying anything or showing anything. So a lot of the preparation that you do for hockey uh, is you use if you use 10% of it that's a lot mm -hmm. what I learned in my brief stint in baseball is most of what you get you can get on that day unless the guy's a first pitch hitter yeah. you got a good chance of getting it on so I would say four hours the night before and the morning skates are a couple of hours and then pulling together the more recent game notes that the team provides in the afternoon is another two hours so about eight hours for a three-hour game but it's fun. Absolutely. And I tell kids that I go to journalism classes. Tonight, you'll study Western civilization or kinesiology or something like that. And I've done that before. Uh, but tonight, I'm going to study Red Wings penguins. And I've done both. But I like my evening better than I like yours. If you can articulate it, what's the most enjoyable part of this job for you? Oh, gee, it's all good. Talking with athletes that are, that are really good guys. And the majority of, of the guys in this sport are not only good citizens, they're good human beings, they're fun to talk to, they love talking about family because family is pretty close with, with most in the hockey community. And almost every day is a good day for most of them. Even if they're in a scoring slump or something like that, usually one of their other teammates is giving them a hard time trying to pull them out of it. And so most everybody walks in with a smile on their face. I know that sounds Pollyanna, doesn't sound realistic, but that's the way the hockey life is. So it's a pleasant existence most of the time. And there's no rule that says you have to hate your job. And I think that's the other fortunate part about doing this is it's fun.